15.6b, complex numbers. Simplify square roots of negatives. Before we reduce with fractions, we have to be sure to factor first. Let's see how this applies in example one. As you can see in example one, we need to start by simplifying the radical, as you always do this first. We know that it initially breaks into negative one and three hundred, but that three hundred can be three and one hundred, five and twenty, five and four, and two and two. So essentially negative three hundred can actually be written as negative one, two squared, three, five squared. And when we take the square root of this, we get two times five on the outside, or ten, i, with a three on the inside. Let's put this back in the problem. Now, we might feel like we just want to take a five out of the fifteen in the five. Remember, that is not possible. We must first factor out in the numerator. Let's factor out a five, which will leave us with three plus two i root three, all over five. Now we can reduce since they're being multiplied. This gives us our final answer of three plus two i root three. Let's look at example two. Here's example two. Once again, we need to start by simplifying the radical. Where we have negative eighty. First, we get a negative one and an eighty, and then we can break the eighty down further to two and forty, two and twenty, two and ten, and two and five, which gives us under the radical a negative one, two to the fourth, and a five. This means that two squared, or four, comes out, as well as an i, and that the five stays in. As you've noticed, the i we treat just like a variable, and it goes after the numbers. Let's place this into the problem. We have twenty plus four i root five over eight. Now we need to reduce, so we factor out whatever we can in the numerator. In this case, that's a four, which leaves us with five plus i root five, because once again, we don't need a one in front of i, just like we don't need a one in front of an x. Over eight, we can now divide out the four. Four goes into four once. Four goes into eight twice. This gives us five plus i root five over two which is our final answer. So remember, when reducing fractions, that you must factor out first. Also, remember to simplify your radical at the beginning of the problem.